This morning, I'm going to review So Long a Letter by Maria Mata. This novel is remarkable. It's from, uh, it's based in Dakar, Senegal, and it's one of the top 10 novels coming out of Africa, um, classics. Uh, it's a classic, um, one of the top 10 contemporary novels out of Africa. Um, it talks about women's issues. It talks about um, motherhood. It's a reflection on motherhood. It's a reflection on marriage. Um, it talks about polygamy, um, and it talks about um, uh, just the contemporary, the evolution of, of, of uh, what it means to be a woman in modern day Africa. Maria Mama is, um, this book was originally written in French, and it's been translated in English, and its English translation is great. Um, it expresses everything, I think, um, you know, to as closely as, as it possibly can to French and um, it's just a beautiful short very short story I mean it's not long at all a beautiful short letter rather um, where Maria Ma or Ramatulai the protagonist of this story um, writes a letter to her friend Aisatu who is also divorced um, Ram Ramatulai gets divorced or rather is put aside in favor of a younger wife um, and these two women, these two friends, take separate paths. Aisa Tu decides to uh, transform herself through books, and um, she goes abroad, and she just she makes a life for herself, and she embodies this feminist, uh, a womanist, feminist uh, persona um, of a Western type. And Ramalatu Lai, I presume, uh, assumes this uh, an African style of feminism where she accepts her lot but still um, thinks about it and reflects on it and figures out wa figures out ways to change it through her own daughter she has 12 children and children and um, she talks about some of her uh, trials and tribulations in raising her 12 children especially her daughters um, some of which all of which have different varying personalities you know, her older daughter who's married in a equitable or equal relationship with her husband, presumably. And then she has three other girls who are very hard and they smoke and but they're smart and they're very laissez-faire, very French style feminism. And then they have the one girl who um, gets pregnant and she's helpful and she's, um, she's uh, dutiful, a dutiful daughter and she helps her with her other younger children. And she gets pregnant. And she, you know, talks about some of the, you know, some of her her challenges as a mother. So this this novel, this letter, goes from her younger years, growing up, being educated, to being married, and eventually being set aside or cast aside after having twelve children for one man who she chose and fell in love with, and then, you know, raising her own daughters to be as you know free as possible. Um, my favorite quote. From this book is um, where she was talking about how she raises her daughters and she says that modern mothers favor forbidden games. They help to limit the damage and better still prevent it. They remove any thorn or pebble that might hinder the progress of their children towards the conquest of all forms of liberty. I apply myself painfully to this necessity. Um, it describes uh, how my grandma, or how Ramatuai rather, is transforming as well um, as a woman through motherhood. Thank you. I hope you pick up this book. It's a classic. It's definitely going on my shelf, and it's going to be a required reading for my daughters. Um, I think it's a beautiful, beautiful letter. Um, thank you for watching. If you want some more suggestions on books, African lit. Um, check out books.thisafropolitanlife.com.